Hi, my name is John Coleman, and today I will be applying for the construction supervisor position at uh, DR Horton. Um, the first question is: Is what do you want? What do you know about our company, and why do you want to work here? Um, what I know about the company is that it's a very trustworthy company. Um, it's uh, they have very high standards, which um, helps me motivate myself to work even harder. Um, the company is a uh, is a it's a very um, easy company to talk to, which uh, helps me feel better about myself because I don't want to go to work and um, be scared to talk to somebody or not want to be able to talk to somebody about anything. Um, and why do you want to work here? Is that like I want to be able to work up to high standards and be the you know the the person that they look up to um and i want to be able to um like when i come into work i want to be able to like feel welcome and that's how i always felt um about how this place is and that's one reason that's another reason i want to work there is because it just feels it's a welcoming welcoming feeling and it um and they all work very hard there, and I would like to see people work hard and have me work hard as well. Um, the second question is, is what skills and strengths can you bring to the position? Um, the skills I can bring is that I've been in this um, industry for a couple years now, so I know what I'm doing. Um, I know that I can, what I bring to you is not gonna be disappointing, which is like, is very yeah, like helping I guess um, and the strengths are that like I, I'm very motivated and I can work very hard and I you know you don't have to worry about me you know not showing up to work you know you don't have to worry about me you know missing anything like that and you know skills and stuff like that and when I'm, I'm a very good manager so that I can I don't want to you know walk in here and just have people you know oh, you're new the guy so they can you know try to walk all over me and stuff like that that's another you know strength I bring is I'm a good manager but I but I'm you know very well maintained as also as well um number three can you tell me about a time when you've had a disagreement with a supervisor or co-worker and how you've handled the situation um usually I um if I ever have this problem I try to talk the situation out you know, I don't want it to escalate or anything like that. Um, you know, if if I can't, if I can't, you know, talk anybody down or you know handle a situation, I usually try to um, re remove myself from the situation so that um, it doesn't get out of hand. Um, you know, I I don't want to be that guy that you know, oh, he started a fight over there because you know he said the wrong thing, stuff like that. I just I don't I don't want to be that guy I want to be the guy that's like okay yeah he got out of there you know he's not he's not worrying about anything like that so that's what that's what you know kind of helps me um would you know help with a disagreement or anything like that you know just talk it out and if it gets escalated really quickly you know just remove myself from the situation uh what is your ideal work environment um I would have to say that it you know anywhere that y'all are that I'm needed and I can you know work to my best ability at that position you know um um so I'm thinking like you know if you need me at a house okay well I can you know I can be at a house that's you know ideal work anywhere would be an ideal just to be able to work for y'all uh number five would be how would you pass how would your past supervisor and coworkers describe you um they would describe me as hard working uh determined um they i was you can ask them i never was late to work and if you know if i was late i you know it wasn't an excuse it was okay sorry i you know woke up late whatever I, you know i was never i was never that guy that was you know late to work every day you know it was a rare situation if i was late um, it was a rare situation if I missed, and if I missed, it was due to an emergency. It wasn't just because I wanted the day off. Um, you know, if I wanted the day off or anything like that, needed the day off, it was, I let them know in advance, you know, I need this day off, I'm going on a trip, whatever. They would, um, 
and they would, you know, yes, okay, I'm good to go. But I'm not the guy that's like, you know, oh, well, sorry, you know, can you can you make it here on Saturday? Um, uh, no, I can't. I told you I'd be off. Well, we didn't tell you yes. Well, I'm not that guy. So um, they would they would be able to describe me as that. Um, I was never. If I if I was if I you know missed or something like that, it would be you know. Be like, okay, he was sick. You know, he told us it wasn't. Oh, well, where is he at? You know, it was. He, I, I let them know in advance that I was if I had to miss or if I was going to be late. I let them know in advance. It wouldn't just kind of show up and say, "Oh, I'm sorry, I'm late." So, but thank you and have a great day.